One of the biggest mysteries in K-pop right now is what has happened to the group Vicha, as the group went from regularly updating their fans across social media to complete radio silence. But is this because of the hiatus of one of the members, or is there something darker going on? Vicha's journey started in 2023 when the group was formed through the reality competition show A2K, which stands for America to Korea. As many of you know, A2K is a project between JYP Entertainment and Republic Records. Their intent to form the first American girl group using the K-pop system was successful. And after months of rigorous training, Vicha was able to debut in January of 2024. But even before their official debut, the girls were doing very well for themselves. In September of 2023, they ended up as number one on the US Billboard's Hot Trending Songs with their pre-debut title track, Y.O. Universe. This further confirmed what many of their fans were already hoping for. The group had a promising chance of becoming a huge success. Their popularity was growing rapidly, and their official debut single, Girls of the Year, was well received both from their fans and the public. Many people complimented the song, saying that it actually suited the group's overall vibe, and to some, the song was giving a strong Disney Channel vibe in the best way possible. Their feel-good releases and stunning choreo secured the group the opportunity to open for JYP's Biggest Girl Group twice, on their Las Vegas concert during Twice's Ready to Be Tour. That's not to say that everything was smooth sailing from the beginning. Even before the group's debut, the group and JYP Entertainment were both facing some criticism. An anonymous netizen's post about the members' ages went viral in September of 2023 as many expressed their concern over how young they are, Kaylee in particular. Because Kaylee was born in 2009, it made her significantly younger compared to the other girls who are between the ages of 17 and 19. Kaylee was much younger when A2K started, making the situation more disturbing to some. This even had a few people wondering if being a K-pop idol should even be accessible to someone this young. As expected, netizens flocked to social media to express their thoughts about Kaylee's age, wondering if her debut was rushed and if she should spend more time preparing and training so she could debut at an older age. In fact, Kaylee's age was discussed so thoroughly that an LA-based JYP entertainment manager Daniel Hong saw those concerns and decided to address them. In an interview with the Nylon magazine, Daniel assured fans that the company has been following a set of California strict regulations regarding minors working in the entertainment industry. Some of these rules include restricted working hours for minors, accessible education through provided tutors, and the option of having a guardian present if needed. Daniel admitted that while these regulations might put the group at a disadvantage compared to others who don't need them or follow them, they're non-negotiable and very necessary. Despite the whole controversy, Vicha and their fans managed to get a few good months before everything came to a halt as on March 11th, 2024, JYP Entertainment announced on that Kaylee would not be able to participate in any future activities due to her poor health. The agency promised to update the fans regularly about Kaylee's return and promised to consider their artist's health as their highest priority. In the beginning, many of their fans suspected that the group's hectic schedule, constant performing, traveling, and school responsibilities were just taking a toll on Kaylee's health. Understandably, many people wondered what exactly happened to Kaylee due to the vague statement, but one netizen on Reddit pointed out that JYP might be prohibited from disclosing personal medical information due to Kaylee being a minor. So when almost one million of their fans witnessed the members slowly disappear, they started to realize that something much more serious had been going on. If we take a look at their Instagram, the girls haven't been active since June of this year, besides the three birthday posts that were posted in June, July, and August. Apart from these posts, no indication about the group's current whereabouts has been given. Their other social media accounts have been suspiciously silent either, and their YouTube channel hasn't been updated since April. It's such a shame though, because everything was pointing towards Vicha having a really successful year, and the group created a supportive and loving community online. They were even supposed to perform at the famous festival Lollapalooza this year, which took place in Chicago, alongside some of the biggest names in the music industry, such as Hozier, Stray Kids, and Tyler the Creator. This could have been a great way towards new opportunities, and their fan base could have grown even more, but their appearance was canceled all of a sudden, shocking everyone. The reason for the cancellation was allegedly unforeseen circumstances, which added yet another unanswered question to the already growing mystery. Some netizens wondered if their performance was canceled because the group simply didn't have enough songs to fill the 45 minutes they were slated for at Lollapalooza. Understandably, the group's fans are thoroughly disappointed as they were promised by JYP to receive updates about Kaylee's well-being, which didn't happen.
a user on Reddit theorized that both of the record labels could have agreed that continuing without a key member would be damaging to the group, so they decided to halt all of their activities. Another user added that Kaylee already had a lot on her plate, going through a comeback after a comeback while balancing school on the side as well. While it would be very pathetic for the labels to use this silence as a marketing tactic, it's yet another theory that they intentionally made the members disappear to generate hype before their next release, not to mention they would be putting thousands of fans in distress just for some excitement. People started to link Vicha's sudden disappearance to the worst case scenario, a possible disbandment. One netizen pointed out that JYP never fails to update the public on any of their girl groups, be it something more serious or just general news about the group's activities, so the fact that they've been silent for so long is suspicious. They also added that VCHA doesn't seem to have a clear target audience, as they are under labels that house both K-pop idols and Western artists. The netizen continued listing the lack of focus on their audience and their apparent generic sound to be the cause behind the group's demise. With how oversaturated the market is right now, it's truly difficult to stand out amidst the hundreds of groups, but it's not like the girls have been doing badly, it was quite the opposite. One netizen also came up with a scenario where the members are being silent because of L2K, which is the Latin American version of A2K. They theorized that the girls could be involved in the competition as mentors and would become a part of the show narrative. The comments under the post mostly refuted the theory saying that the groups is simply too fresh for them to be mentors. One user wrote, I find it hard to think that a group that hasn't been active for months end up being mentors, plus they don't even have a lot of songs. Additionally, L2K is still a work in progress, so putting the members on hiatus soon if it was because of the show, simply doesn't make sense. Videos of Savannah and Lexi promoting JYP's global audition in the States were posted in September, and while it's good to know that there's still artists under JYP, it doesn't answer any of the burning questions. Many netizens also think that the members could be stuck in some sort of internal reorganization or rebrand, with the group making their comeback after a certain time with a totally new image and sound, since they are so young and their concept targets a younger audience. It's possible the agency is making them wait until they come up with a more mature concept. A few people even mentioned the possibility of internal conflicts and disagreements with one netizen bringing up finances as the reason why. A user on Twitter pointed out that Vicha are allegedly in what's known as a 360 deal, which means the members would get virtually nothing. Then there's the whole issue with global groups that don't belong to a single market, but are kind of split between two different ones, both of which have very different characteristics and audiences. The market in the States is vastly different from the K-pop market, and it's possible that business-wise, the group didn't fit into either of those. It's important to remember that all of this is just fan theories and speculations, and we truly don't know what's going on. The group's fans tried to explore all kinds of possibilities, though, and one netizen shared a rumor they read on the internet about the members allegedly not liking each other and that the entire group was deemed as a failed project. Someone responded to their comment, explaining that they wouldn't be surprised if there was some truth to their statement, reasoning that the girls have been together for a short period of time and it could possibly be difficult for them to become best friends immediately. A netizen on Reddit also also pointed out an interesting fact that some of them could have changed their mind about being idols. They explained that being a K-pop idol or K-pop adjacent is much harder than someone might realize, with America and South Korea having two very different approaches to careers. A more optimistic theory is that Vicha's career was hindered due to Kaylee's hiatus and that the others simply don't want to continue without her. It's possible that a comeback was in the works and it was supposed to happen before Lollapalooza so the group would have enough songs to fill up the required time, but it was postponed due to Kaylee not being able to participate. No matter what's happening right now, we hope the girls are doing okay and will return soon stronger than ever.